So some of the reasons that might work for people, sharing knowledge with others, that is a big part of it for me, helping others as others have helped me as well. Boosting the personal brand. When I started, that was a small part of it that I built up. I don't want to just learn it. I want to use it, but demonstrate I know these skills. So if I do come around to job search time, I've got a bit of a portfolio to point to. Networking with others, the people I've met has been the biggest part of this for me, more than the awards, but sometimes the awards have led to joining a club where you can network with others. Personal growth as well. Again, for me, I wanted to upskill, learn some new skills, modernize those skills. That was a key thing for me. I've been doing some legacy win forms on-prem stuff for years, and it was fine. It worked for the business, but I knew that if I was made redundant or wanted to move on, where did I go next? My market was quite limited. Again, something Sarah can help out with when it comes to job searching. Another thing was to try something new. You know, my first presentation was pushing myself. Can I do it? But also, would I enjoy it? If I enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. If you want to demonstrate you're a subject matter expert, again, if you're thinking about job searching or becoming a contractor, going freelance, starting your consultancy, this is getting your name out there and it might help promote your business or whatever you move on to next. Documenting knowledge for your own reference. I've lost count of the amount of times people who've written a blog and then when they've searched for that piece of advice in a year's time when they've forgotten how to do something, their own blog has come up and they've answered their own question. This is an interesting one, improving the communication and presentation skills. For me, when I get the first presentation, I'd already been a consultant for many years. Many of us deal with customers and it's a way of, well, can I improve those skills? Can I speak more clearly? Can I present myself better? You could have been told to, it could have been part of your mentoring program. It could have been that you lost says I really think you should be doing this and the last one I'll touch upon as well is to make money I do have friends who get paid to write blog posts for websites and they get paid a lot what I'll mention with that as well some of the awards like the MVP one it was very clear that it was only free community contributions would count to the award so when I do things like a paid blog post or a LinkedIn learning course that doesn't count towards the award it's a paid gig side hustle completely separate something to bear in mind